One of the less explored image modes in Photoshop is Duotone. It's a slight misnomer because though Duo implies two, it's possible to include up to four colors in a Duotone mode image. I'll show you how this works. I'll convert the image to grayscale first. Uh, one or two other modes work like this as well. One needs to remove color from the image before custom color can be uh, applied. So I go to my image menu and I slide to mode and I go ahead and click on grayscale. I'll have to click discard to get rid of the color information. We also note that the file size has fallen from something like uh, six and a quarter megs to about two point something. So again, we lose some information, therefore the file size does get smaller. But one advantage of duotoning is the ability to add very specific colors to an image, and with the multicolor modes, more precise shadings and adjustments. Now we can go to the image menu to mode and select duotone and try each of them in turn. For the monotone, I'll go ahead and mix a custom color. It's reminiscent of the photographic process called cyanotyping, which was used to make blueprints way back when. We click the color picker square here, and then in our color picker we can use any of the systems, HSB, RGB, CMYK. I'll use RGB here, and I'll set the RGB colors to 0, 0, and 128, respectively. Since I made this color up, as it were, when I OK back out, I'll want to add a name for it, and I can indeed call it cyanotype. If I were to then click OK, the color would be locked in. Having the uh, preview checkbox over here on the right turned on is obviously a good idea. We can see immediately what the result will look like in the image. We can also try Duotone, the namesake of the feature. Select the choice here in the drop-down. And this time I'll use a preset since I have two colors available. And in my list of custom presets, the one I want is going to be a shade of green or a collection of green, specifically uh, green 349 BL2. When I select it, we see one of the interesting things about the duotone mode. We can use black, as we see here as our first ink, to uh, make sure that our shadow details are dark enough, but we're also now using a Pantone color, Pantone 349 CVC, which allows us to get very precise, pick an exact color. For example, if the original artist intended it, or if a company needs to use a color to comply with product branding standards. We can also try a tritone. Click our drop down again, select tritone. And now, of course, we have three inks we can play with. I'm going to pick another preset available. This time I'll scroll up a little further. And among the BMYs, the one I want is BMY Red 2. This incorporates three of the process colors, black, yellow, and magenta and gives us kind of a warm tone, brownish tone, which is probably due in part to the magenta being in there, uh, but still preserves most of the detail in terms of sharpness and clarity and so on. But when we switch to a quad tone, gives us up to four colors we can mix, I can now actually use one of the CMYK presets, and the one I want here is called CMYK Very Warm. When I select it, I'm using all four standard process colors, now including cyan. I can blend or mix the colors even more subtly than with the other settings. And in this particular case, I've come very close to uh, the appearance of another traditional printing process called sepia toning. A print would be dunked in a bath of sepia ink to preserve its details so they wouldn't bleach out. And we also get this slightly golden brown tint at the same time. We see this in a number of old photographs. If I now OK out, we also find that the quad tone setting gives us yet another interesting capability. If I now go to the image menu and mode and switch to CMYK color, 
Watch carefully as I select that, about to convert, tells us that's fine, we can OK that. But the colors here stay exactly the same as in the Duotone dialog. So it's possible to create a traditional style black and white image with any one of several kinds of tints or shadings and have it reproduce and print very closely following the colors that we see on screen.